Salut Quadas, this is Piski here. Welcome back to another tutorial. Home greetings to those who are joining us for the first time. In this tutorial, I want to show you how we can configure our key clock for production environment. And we want to create certificates and we add these certificates to our Docker Composer YAML file. As you can see here, our URL, it's, it does not have any a certificate and this issue uh, is not allowed when you are going to environment so we want to make sure that when accessing our endpoint it's via https and we are going to do this on our local environment so if you go to this key clock in our logs it it can say uh, do not use this configuration in the production it means these configurations are not ready for production and the URL here, if you see, it's um, it's HTTP. So we need to have an HTTPS URL. So let's get started. I have this file that I created that I want to that. So from this file, we are going to generate a certificate, a key, and a certificate. So what I need to do, let's go to the in my key clock here, I want to create a folder called HTC and uh, create a directory called sets. Okay, so I need to go to this open in terminal. Right, then I want to run this so I can generate this certificate. Run this command also. Yes, the two country digit province a full name. I can say bisk city. I can say Brussels company code code with bisk. Section IT and I'll say BISC here address I just say password no password company name code with BISC okay so if you come here we have this C CSR and now let's create a key from the CSR. Just press enter. You can see we can have a key here. So once we have this, I'll just say git. Let me add these certificates into my git. Once I have this, I need to configure these uh, files into my i need to configure this into my a uh, docker composer ammo we need to put this in our key clock we need to put this key configuration in our key clock volumes here so this is the path of our certificates etc sets it is in etc sets and the server crt and the server key these two files and we we are mounting it into this location in our key clock docker image so after doing this we need to add these configurations so let's add this configuration So this is the path, which is this one, which is our key, which is our certificate and the path of our key, which is this one. So the next thing that you want to do when we are running, you can see if you are running this, it is running on HTTP on port 880. But when it's now HTTPS, it will be port 8443. So we need to configure this here. 
and we can come here now we have configured our port so for https we are going to use this port for https then here we are using we are using start dev so we need to change this to this one We, it's no longer a dev environment so we are going to use this we can configure this so that we will, it will load certificates and it will know that these configurations are for production environment so let's start our application and i will close this let me just say down and i'll say up Let's see what is going to happen here. So if you see now our URL here, it's now HTTPS. As you can see here, our URL is now HTTPS. So it's now a production ready environment and that warning is no longer there that these configs are not for production ready so let's open our url at this port which is 9443 come i will copy this one and i'll just say localhost here it's because i didn't add an https let's add https and see you can see we are now able to access it and let's just accept because it's this is a self signed certificate you can see we have managed to configure our key clock with a certificate so if i click admin console we are going to have this issue because of cross origin so what we need to do it's because of, of our url we need to configure this url so just come here here where we are we are calling you can say ccom host name url let's change this let's use a url not just like host name and let's put this down let's see what is going to happen now So let, let's reload. You can see now we are able to log in and I can take my password which is admin and admin at 1234. And you are okay and our previous rooms are already there. So this is how you can configure your application to be always https so thank you guys for watching this video if you are new to this channel make kindly subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload new video salut coders